In the realm of self-taught artists, Joseph Yoakum stands as an enigmatic figure. His artwork is a testament to the power of imagination and personal experience. Born in 1890 in Ash Grove, Missouri, Yoakum's life journey took him from the rural American South to the bustling urban landscapes of Chicago. It eventually led him to create a body of work that continues to captivate art enthusiasts around the world. Blending elements of landscape and memory, his unique style transports viewers to the ethereal realms that exist only in his mind's eye. Yoakum's artistic career took flight late in life, when at the age of 71, he began drawing and painting with fervor. Inspired by his experiences as a laborer, traveling by train, and his encounters with different landscapes, he embarked on a creative journey that would result in a vast collection of over 2,000 works. His pieces, mostly done in color, pencil, and ink, showcase a remarkable ability to capture the essence of a place while infusing it with a dreamlike quality. One of the most intriguing aspects of Yoakum's work is the unconventional approach to depicting landscapes. His compositions often feature exaggerated perspectives where towering mountains seem to reach the heavens. Rivers meander through expansive valleys and cities emerge like mirages in the distance. This distorted representation reflects his personal interpretation of the scenes he encountered and the emotions they evoked within him. Yoakum's artistry also draws from his rich and varied background. As a child, he claimed to be a Native American and African American descent, and later recounted his tales of travels across the globe, including places like Canada, Mexico, and Africa. While the accuracy of these, of these accounts remain uncertain, they undoubtedly influenced his artistic vision. Each piece became a fusion of real and imagined landscapes, blending elements from different regions to create otherworldly terrains that defy traditional categorization. The emotional resonance of Yoakum's work lies not only in the fantastical nature of his landscapes, but also in the personal stories they carry. Through his art, he invited viewers to step into his memories and experiences, to walk alongside him on his imaginary journeys. The vivid colors, intricate details, and distinct visual language in his work communicate a deep connection to the places he depicted, as if he were trying to encapsulate the essence of a location in a single image. Joseph Yoakum's talent and unique artistic voice gained recognition during his lifetime and he exhibited his work in various galleries and museums. However, it wasn't until after his passing in 1972 that his art truly gained widespread appreciation. Today, his pieces can be found in the prestigious collections such as the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Smithsonian American Art Museum, solidifying his place in the canon of self-taught and outsider art. The enduring appeal of Yoakum's work lies in its ability to transport viewers to a realm where reality blends with imagination. It reminds us that art has the power to transcend limitations both personal and societal and create new worlds born from the depths of the human spirit. Yoakum's ethereal landscapes continue to captivate and inspire, inviting us to explore the boundaries of our own imagination and discover the hidden beauty in the world around us. In looking into Joseph Yoakum's life, the one thing that stands out to me significantly above everything else is that he did not start his career until the age of 71. And within the last 10 years of his life, he produced over 2,000 pieces of art. This is a testament to it's never too late in life to do what you're called to do. So take this as an encouragement and understand your time is precious. Do what you're called to do.